Hello everyone, Zia Hussain this side. So today hand, we are dealing with the Krebs cycle. We have already discussed about the glycolysis in the yester lecture and we do know that the product of glycolysis is none other than two molecules of pyruvate. Two molecules of pyruvate. So now, whenever the pyruvate is synthesized, first of all beforehand going into the Krebs cycle, it will be dealing with a reaction called as link reaction called as link reaction so here this is the link reaction this one is a link reaction okay the conversion of pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme a the conversion of pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme a is called as link reaction now what happens here so basically it is none other than the oxidation of pyruvate and here the meaning of the oxidation will be removal of hydrogen so here whenever the coenzyme a is coming in the reaction the three carbon pyruvate molecule is converted into two carbon pyruvate molecule and one carbon dioxide is released one more thing that nad plus is converted into nadh plus h plus so do remember this case as well okay so here from this nad we'll be getting three adps and basically we have two pyruvate molecules which means we will be getting two molecules of NADH plus H plus so on an average we will be getting six ATPs from the link reaction now dealing with the proper Krebs cycle here now the first molecule inter which is present already in the, in the Krebs cycle is none other than oxaloacetic acid it's a four carbon molecule which is oxaloacetic acid and we do know that the acetyl coenzyme A has been entered in this reaction. So ultimately the combined carbon will be now a 6 carbon molecule called as citric acid. Called as citric acid. That is the reason that the Krebs cycle is also called as citric acid cycle. Citric acid cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Now we have 6 carbon molecule citric acid. Which is again converted into a 5 carbon molecule called as alpha keto glutaric acid. Or in simple words, we can call it as alpha ketoglutarate. Now, we are observing that one carbon has been eliminated from the citric acid to the alpha ketoglutarate. So basically here, due to because of the elimination of one carbon dioxide molecule and the oxidation of the citric acid, which means like the formation of one NADH plus H plus again. Done? Okay. So here, now again, if I'll be dealing with, if again, I'll be dealing with here, I can observe that the alpha ketoglutarate is again converted into succinic acid which is having only 4 carbons which means extra carbon dioxide has been eliminated now and one more NADH plus H plus has been formed deal with the case one more thing that an energy currency molecule other than ATP has been formed in this from the conversion of alpha ketoglutarate to succinic acid one GTP is formed please do remember this one GTP is formed, the guanosine triphosphate. Now, whenever the formation of malic acid from the succinic acid is getting taken place, only the oxidation is happening here and FAD is converted into FADH2. FAD is converted into FADH2. Do remember one thing that one FADH2 yields nearly equal to 2 ATPs whereas one NADH2 yields nearly equal to 3 ATPs. Okay, deal with. Now we have 4 carbon unit called as malic acid and again the oxidation of the malic acid is happening here and the formation of NADH plus again occurring. So at the end of the day why we are calling this a cycle because whenever we are starting a reaction from the single molecule we will be again reaching to the same molecule and again starting all over again. So this is the reason why we call this as Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle and the oxaloacetic acid and the tricarboxylic acid cycle. So deal with this case okay now we have to deal with the net gain of the total net gain or total gain of the ATPs so let's get started that case so, so now dealing with the result of the Krebs cycle okay result of the Krebs cycle so we basically had we basically had three molecules of NADH plus H plus one molecule of FADH2 one molecule of GTP and two molecules of carbon dioxide but still we do know that there were two different pyruvate groups which are entering in the reaction so ultimately you will be getting on an average six molecules of NADH plus H plus 
टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एफ ए डी एच टू टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ जी टी पी एंड फोर मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ओके एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट वन एन ए डी एच प्लस एच प्लस गिव्स थ्री ए डी पीज वेर एज वन एफ ए डी एच टू गिव्स टू ए डी पीज सो ऑन एन एवरेज फ्रॉम द कम्प्लीट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द ग्लूकोज विल यील्ड थर्टी एट ए डी पीज द कम्प्लीट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ ग्लूकोज यील्ड्स थर्टी एट ए डी पीज इन विच टू आर फ्रॉम द ग्लाइकोलाइसिस एंड अल्टीमेटली रेस्ट आर फ्रॉम द लिंक रिएक्शन एंड द क्रेप साइकिल कंबाइनली डन ओके सो होपफुली दिस लेक्चर हैज बीन बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू गाइज थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर यूर सो मच सपोर्ट थैंक यू